Looks like we're rolling. Let's try this again. This is going to be problem 20-8, which is one of the assigned problems. It's a two-year problem dealing with pensions. Find benefit plans, which are a little bit gnarly, so I think we're trying to give you a little help here. Let's describe some of these items as we encounter them. PBO, projected benefit obligation. So you have a pension plan, and the actuaries calculate that you owe, in present value, $600,000 to existing employees as an obligation and to employees that are already retired and continue to get benefits. This is funded by the plan assets which is a given number, 410. The difference between these two numbers is going to be you're overfunded or underfunded. We are underfunded by 190,000. That goes over here. These amounts are not on the books, the right-hand columns. So these are all the entries that go on our books. These are beginning numbers we're looking at. We do not have a beginning gain or loss. There's two types, and we'll describe them as we encounter them. We do have prior service costs of 160K. So how does this happen? Well, there was an amendment to the plan at some point prior to 2020, which gave employees additional benefits for time already worked balance in this account, which is a debit, it's going to go at the very end of the stockholders' equity section. It's going to be a negative number because it's a debit balance. There's going to be another one that goes in the end of the stockholders' equity section. Right now, the zero, balance is zero. There's two types of gains and losses. We're going to encounter one of them immediately, which is what? $87,000 increase in the PBO is always a given number. So the actuaries realized that the employees are eating Greek yogurt, living, living to be 103 years old. They said, you know what? We better increase the PBO. We're going to have to pay out this money a lot longer than we thought. That's one kind of, quote, loss, unquote. It's an instantaneous increase in PBO. instantaneous increase in pension liabilities, which makes sense because that's totally unfunded, right? That's just another amount that's unfunded. Okay, the next section I have in this big box here, it's going to be a wing-bang entry. What do we have? We have service cost. It's $40,000. It's given. Where would we get that number from? The actuaries. Employees worked another year. And they have earned another $40,000 in benefits. That's an increase in the PBO. It's going to be one of the elements of pension expense. Also, we are a year closer to paying out these monies. You know how present value works, right? The closer you are to paying out the money, the higher the number. So the present value of the payout is increased by 60000 which is re referred to as interest cost. Beginning of year PBO times settlement rate. Settlement rate was given, 10%. What else do we have? Actual return on plan assets, the real number, 39000 That's a decrease in expense. That's a good thing, right? Earn some money on the plan assets. That also goes over here. Okay. What else do we know? We know the expected return is 10%. How do we know that? Because it says so. 10% is the 10% of what? The plan assets. So we expected to earn $41,000. We only earned 39. We were short by how much? 36. 
just want to make sure you guys are paying attention. 36. There you go. We're short by 5,000. That's the other kind of loss. So when you don't make the expected number, which is 41, you have a loss. Where does that go? It goes over here in the loss column. All right, what else do we have? Contributions. We paid out, paid in, I should say, $97,000. Where'd it go? Went into the plan. Now, with respect to the items that are in this box here, which is not everything, we are overfunded. We paid in 97. These negative issues only add up to 64. What's the balancing debit or credit? 33,000. So we're overfunded with respect to these items here at 97. Okay. What else do we do? Let's move on. Amor to PSC. That's pretty easy because they give you the number. What's the number? 70,000. So this is a debit balance. We're going to credit that balance by 70K and drop the 70,000 into pension expense. That has no effect on the PBO. The amendment would have been taken into account in some earlier year. Okay, what else do we have to do? We do not have an amortization loss. Why not? Well, we didn't have a loss at the beginning of the year. And that's those are the numbers you use to calculate this. In the second year, you're going to need to do that. I think this is the last thing. Benefits paid. And the number is, looks like 31.5. So that money comes out of the plan assets and pays retirees, so it reduces your obligation. Now, the difference between these two numbers is 244000 which is equal to the new balance in the pension liability account. So that's a good thing. All right, what else? We've got 92000 in this account this time, OCI, gain loss. Now, how do you amortize it? It's kind of a crazy thing. It's called the corridor approach. We're going to take 10% of the greater of these two numbers. I think 755 is the larger number. So I'm going to go minus 10 times 755. 75,550. So that means what? We have an amount to amortize. So you find the difference between those two numbers and you divide by the average remaining service life and then you get the amortization, which is going to be a tiny amount as compared to the total that we have in this account. We'll call that the corridor approach. Okay, now what do you do next year? Well, next year you carry these balances forward and go through the same routine which is going to include the amort of loss this time. What about the journal entries, you say? Well, the journal entries, I'm going to kind of follow the yellow brick road here. If you got the numbers in these boxes where they belong, all you got to do is basically draw up an entry. Let's see what we have here. A. We don't have an entry for A. A was if you have an amendment and it creates an instantaneous increase in pension liability for work that the employees have already done. So in other words, prior years, that was, creates that. And we started the year with 160, so that happened some other time. This is the Greek yogurt entry, right? Increase the pension liability as an actuarial calculation record the so-called loss. This is that big wing bang entry that we did. It's the balancing 33K. We 
these are a couple of debits, those are negative items, and then there's a cash we put in. So we're overfunded with respect to these items. This is the amortization of prior service cost, the number that was given in this problem. 7K. And this would be our amortization of loss, but we don't have a loss. So, well, we didn't have at the beginning of the year, so there's nothing to amortize. Next year there will be. Now, we do not have an amendment in this problem, but I think we will have that in the El Mas Asombroso problem. I think it's at the end of year one you're going to find that. Hopefully this recorded properly because this is like my third time trying to do it with this software that my son set me up with. And maybe we'll do this again.